One of my favorite shows growing up was uh, Ghostbusters, watching that movie and the Marshmallow Man coming through and paranormal activity like that. So we've actually come to a place where paranormal activity is happening. That's right. And sure so has. Camille is <laughs> here with uh, Belmont Plantation and uh, she's going to tell us more about what's here. <laughs> Well, we have several little uh, things that take place at Belmont that uh, is really a little bit hard to explain, but one of the funnest or most interesting um, things that took place is, and this was just recently, is there was a delivery guy that was bringing packages, and I happened to not be here that day. Now, let me back up and say this. Uh, it's been well known that there's a little girl that roams the property. She has oh, red hair uh -huh. and she dresses in a little cotton gown, uh, kind of vintage or Victorian Ooh. type gown. And, um, you know, some of us have kind of just rolled our eyes. However, this particular guy came this day to deliver a package. He said he knocked on the door, nobody answered. He turned to go get a package and when he did, the door slowly opened and there was this little girl dressed in a gown, red hair. And he said, listen, I have some packages for the lady of the house and wanted to uh, leave it, so would you please let her know that uh, I'm delivering a package. And she never answered him, just looked at him. And he turned um, to go into, get back in his uh, truck, and when he turned to say bye, she was gone, just immediately. The door was still open and she was gone. Well, he wasn't real sure about that, so he came back around to the back part of the house, and we had some uh, people, my cousin, one of them, working on, uh, working back here doing some construction, and he asked them if there was a little girl in the front that he had delivered a package, and they said, absolutely not. There's no children here today. There's no children on the property. Wow. So he uh, told a friend of a friend of a friend that he would not be back out here at Belmont Plantation, that he had met this little girl and he was not coming back. So <laughs> it's really interesting. People will stop me on the, just out of the blue. And it's kind of funny how this thing has grown and it's like, tell me about the little girl at Belmont. <laughs> so, <laughs> yeah. So how many rooms are possessed? <laughs> how many rooms do you have here? And is there certain rooms that are better for people that are Kind of inquiring minds. Yes. Like to... Well, I will say that this room, the matriarch suite, oh, okay. and you can tell the lady, not, as I said earlier, that I thought this was a man, but it is a lady, and she is the matriarch of the house, so to speak. Oh. Um, she doesn't have any uh, connection, family connection, but nonetheless, it's quite interesting how people will cover her up when they stay in this room. But I've had a lot of guests say, tell me anything from, I locked that door. I know I pulled on it, and it was open. Um, there was a gentleman at the end of my bed when I went to the bathroom. So, uh, different things here, but uh, one that really hit home was I had a, a couple here who stayed in here and were pet friendly and they had cats and they let their cats out. Right. And um, this was during the day and he came and found me. He said, I, I hate to be a bother, but there's something not right about that room. And I said, well, what are you talking about? And he said, well, one of my cats is under the bed and won't come out. One's in the bathroom and won't come out. And, uh, <laughs> which made me really kind of hesitate or pause. And I said, well, I'll tell you what, I'll move you to another room. And, of course, I did, and the cats were fine. So, apparently, it's something about this room. Uh, I don't know what the story is. Wow. And then, of course, the ice house. And when I had the um, Mississippi Paranormal Society here, they... Um, said uh, there was a lot of activity. And the Mississippi Paranormal Research Institute oh. has been here too, and they said the oh. same thing. A lot of activity in my ice house. It's now my laundry room, which, mind you, I don't do laundry after dark. But, uh, <laughs> yeah, so they've told me some uh, stories, uh, interesting stories, one of which uh, was about a slave named Samson, and I found that rather interesting. I said, well, if, uh, do you do any... Um, homework before research before you come in and they say absolutely not we come in blind and I said well that's funny because I know all the names of the slaves here and one of them happens to be Samson so you know who knows <laughs> but yeah spooky stuff happening yeah. here but if you love spooky stuff tell absolutely. Camille how do they get to come here? Hey, look, just look us up on Facebook. Um, I will tell you, too, if you're wanting to look at some of the 
things that these these two companies have found. You can go to YouTube, uh, but also Belmont Plantation 1857 on Facebook or on social media. Also, uh, website uh, BelmontPlantation1857.com. My phone number is 901-652-1390. We'd love to have you. And Camille said, Ghostbusters, uh -huh. welcome. <laughs> Absolutely.